Canelo. I've taken the fights that other people fear and all this crap. Man, I mean, well, see, I don't mind it. I was thinking the same thing. Give up the belt anyway. Let let Triple G go fight for it. You don't want to fight Triple G? Give up the belt. Give it up. You don't want to fight at 160. You're not a middleweight champion anyway. You see, this is what I'm saying to people. You can't cheat the system. He's going to go down as one of the most worst middleweight champ champions because he didn't fight at 160. He's not even a middle. You know what I mean? He didn't even set the limit at one at one sixty. So I don't know where he's going with that, man. But Triple G Triple G becomes undisputed right now, effectively. Well, he's got to win the belt first. He's got. No, no, no. He's already got the he's already got the WBC interim, so the WBC will probably just update him. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's yeah, how they do. That's how they yeah, do. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. right? They're, right. they're just making him thing, and he'll just become undisputed. So he basically, Triple G has got two belts. Yeah, that. He got belts given to him and didn't actually face anyone to get it. Man, That's, I, I, I don't, is it is his fault? I don't know. Like I can't blame the dude. But no, of course it's not. He's won all his belts by default. <laughs> I want to fight him, man. So what belts did he get by default? He got all right, the WBA. W, WBA. Yeah, he didn't fight no one for that. Yeah, I, I'm, 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 I'm speculating about the WBC. We'll just give him the belt. Right. The IBF he beat the Mew, yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's the only one he beat someone over it. And that's it. And who's got the WBO right now? WBO? Saunders. Oh, that, Saunders. 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 Yeah, Saunders. So you know what? Saunders don't want no part yeah, of Yeah, Saunders will probably just give him the whole set. Hey, Golovkin, you can have it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you take the belt. <laughs> you can have it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> hey, someone, someone's, put, yeah, someone's put, I was born ready. <laughs> he's already, he's already to run is what you was doing. Yeah, Golo- well, well, look, Alvarez talking about uh, the uh, Me- Mexican bravery and all this. I mean, <laughs> Alvarez, God. Alvarez, Alvarez ain't got that. But look, it was going to happen, innit? it? Right, it was report- well, say what you were saying earlier on about um, they were offering Matthew Macklin, innit? it? They were offering Matthew Macklin the fight. That That's how low down on the totem pole they were trying to find opponents. Like, Khan, like, Mac- Macklin said, I can't beat this guy. I can't beat him and retired. That, imagine that. You offer yeah. a man to fight and he said, he, that, that's how low they were searching down the table. The man said, I can't win the fight. Look, that's why I can't save, that's why I can't save them. That's why, at this point, Alvarez, see, in effect, Alvarez has nowhere else to go because he's been fighting such high level opponents. Yeah. With his, his Mexican fans now, they demand a high ranked opponent. They will. Or they throw things at him. I've seen it happen. They all turn on you like they turn on Victor Ortiz. You know what I'm saying? So he, even, even him effectively losing the belt, that's probably got a lot of Mexicans probably thinking, oh man, that's pisses off. But again, if he fights a good ranked opponent, then that, people forget about it. They don't care about the belts. That's Canelo. They don't care about it. But yeah. in the day, he's put him in a position for Oscar. Who's he going to fight next? But Triple G is a situation where maybe they make him the champion, undisputed champion. And who's he going to fight? Well, now he's effectively the middleweight well, champion. Yeah, who's, who's there to to fight? He's not going to defend against Lara. He said he's not going to fight Lara. I want to see him against. I want to see him against Jorge Highlander. That's what I want to see. I want to see him against Torino Johnson. But the thing is, I got him winning all them fights, so it's not. I got. Hey, listen, here I have the belt. It, you, Triple G will go down beach, right? Yeah. He'll win up like five five in a row or something like that, and probably retire because there's no challenges, and that's how they, they'll probably leave the game. Oh, I retired now. There was no challenges, and they're, 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 they'll still regard Triple G as one of the greatest of all time. But yeah, he, he never was never a challenge because all, it all goes down that people were scared of him. And listen, and that's true. That is true to a certain extent. Yeah, it is, it is to a, a certain extent. But the, and he didn't fight other, like Lara from Ward and stuff. Well, there's challenges himself. there. Yeah, yeah the challenges were there. But see, it's still Lara saying he wants to fight. But when's Lara, why hasn't Lara moved up to middleweight if he if he wants to challenge? Like we were talking about. Um, Aaron Pryor, Aaron Pryor, yeah, you Aaron need to Pryor move up, Rich yeah. And, and versus yeah. Leonard, like yeah. he wanted to fight him. Why move up officially and put yourself in a in a position where you can fight him? Yeah, force the issue. That's right. Exactly. Yeah. You know, Laura wants to fight him, but what is Laura actually doing other than just saying it? You know. So mm-hmm. yeah, listen, in fact, this is what's going to happen with Triple G. He's going to defend the belt against guys and all, and then the day he's probably going to retire and say, "No, no, we had no challenges. It was a great career." Well, how old is he now? He's fair. He's in his thirties, man. Yeah, he's not a youngster no more, man. He's not a youngster. Uh, but you, that's what Eubanks wants to try and get him by September. See, they want to get him. So now yeah. Eubanks will be fighting for the mid- the undisputed middleweight championship. Yeah, well, I mean, you've uh, got to give him credit for that, man. you got to give Eubank. If Eubank is serious about that, because he tweeted it, that, you know, they're looking at Triple G for September. 
But I mean, I wonder if they what are they going to do? They're going to go America, or they're going to go Europe, or they're going to bring it to London. Well, the press conference is tomorrow, right? With Chris Eubank, so we have to find out he's being signed back to Matchroom because, yeah. um, and eventually we got with Matchroom is that when he was with Matchroom, he signed with Matchroom. In their clause said they're going to win for, for, for Matchroom to win the purse bid for the British. They didn't do that, so they didn't on their con- so they got out of their contract, which is smart. Yeah, and they got they got the British belt, and now they're back. I wonder what the effect of the black or fight is to cut of him, but in the day they're still on course. If you're saying they want to fight Triple G, so they're well on course of what they want to do. They see Eubanks is controlling his career, yeah. making sure his son goes where he wants to go. He's got the British belt, right? I don't yeah. know if he's going to defend it a couple of times or whatever. He's going to be on the on the, on the card of Joshua, and at the same time they're going to build that build that card. Joshua Triple G will have course to come to England because they look at the crowds man look at the crowds yeah. their man's are gener- we're generating and a lot of yeah. people hate dislike Eubank or whatever but if you tell Eubank versus Triple G would it be big over in America or would it be bigger over here England England I mean look Eubanks has got a fan base and he, whether they're coming to see him lose like, he's got no notoriety already he's on match room he's a, on, on the right format and platform England yeah. is, the, is the place for that fight well his, da- his dad with his dad obviously yeah oh, man, man, massive see yeah, the, see that- the thing is, right, look, look, Matchroom is for British boxing. It's for, all right, for, look, look, I might be wrong for the rest of the world, but for, for the British punter, they've got Conor Ben and they've got Nigel Ben around the scene. They've got Eubank and Eubank Senior. They've got Joshua Champion, Brooke Welterweight Champion. J- um, you hear Jamie McDonald, he's going he's gonna to fight Rigondeau. He wants that's to fight Rigondeau. Yeah, how's he fighting Rigondeau? So how's, how's that going to happen if Rigondeau's not in the same weight class? He's gonna so move up. To... He's gonna move up. Is Rigondeau saying he's gonna move up to fight him? Yeah, he's gonna move up to Rigondeau's way. Yeah. Oh, he's he, un- he was underneath. Yeah, he's bantamweight, isn't it? He's bantamweight. Yeah. Well, listen, that guy's great, man. I like that Jamie McDonald's man. He's gonna get beat up. Yeah. See, up. he's gonna yeah, but he's gonna show he's up gonna them Frampton him, boys, isn't he? it? Challenge himself. Yeah. And, and look, and if he beats Rigondeau, right? I, I, you know what? Yeah, to think about it, the confidence he got from beating Comedia, he definitely feels confident about beating up Rigondeau. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Make himself into a legend, bro. Look, man, I think Rigan is a great boxer, but I don't think no no boxer's unbeatable. No. no. Floyd, Robinson, Langford, all my favorite. No, no boxer is unbeatable. They're all beatable. Yeah. You've got to believe in yourself, man. I don't, I don't yeah. understand that. I'm not gonna fight him at all. Yeah, Mad, Mad Dog McDonald could hey, he could pull it off. Rigan is getting old, so it might be the right time. Like um when um John Hennels Tracy went against um um Mantikia. What's his name again? Um, um Napolis. Jose, Jose Napolis. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it might be the right time. That's right. Uh, yeah, John Giant right Tracy got off the canvas. Yeah. Come back and stop the guy, yeah? yeah? It was the right time. It was the right time. It was the right time. It was the right, right. time. Everything's about boxing's all about timing and triple G, like when if if if, if you guys get it might be the right time. It might be the right time. It might be the right time for Jay McDonald's and thing. You know, but, it's always well, how timing. how do how how do Oscar and, and um Canelo PA, PR their way out of this one. What what is it? They, how are they going to explain this? Really? How are they going to maintain them? Paper. What was the last pay per view? You didn't do that well, did it? Against Khan. A uh, uh, Khan. Khan. Yeah, no, no, he didn't do that well. No, we, I, we didn't say he didn't do that well compared to Mayweather, or just didn't do yeah, it well. In, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah. compared to Mayweather, it's gonna be flopping it. Of course, Mayweather, they're not gonna think. And even though they're getting against opponents, Mayweather beat him. The thing is, if Canelo was undefeated, he never lost. That fight would have been like, oh yeah. But he's Mayweather's already beat him, so they're always gonna be compared to Mayweather. You know, always gonna be compared. But I guess in the day, you know, the fight, the fight that look, he gave the fans what they wanted to see. He gave the fans a knockout. Canelo, hey, listen, Canelo's going to be fighting these guys not in no weights, and he can do it because he generates that much money. So we have to see with Canelo. But really and truly, if you're looking for um, guys at linear weight, Triple G, I give a Triple G respect. He'd be fighting at 160. He's not been ducking. He, he fights whoever's in front of him, you know? And he's not doing what Canelo's doing. It's, it's outrageous what Cotto was doing, draining people. Yeah, you know, yeah. You know, that's ridiculous. Well, them fi- to be honest, them fighters, they drain themselves, you know? They drain themselves. Yeah, well, they, they, exactly, just to make the money. But to, to be honest with you, Triple G doesn't generate that sort of money, though. No, but look at gen- Triple, Triple G's been fighting light middles and not even good light middles as well, man. That's that, absolutely. Absolutely. There you go, innit? So, there you go. So, I don't There's really, the- I don't, I'm fine trying to feel sorry for Triple G. But why should he's got, he's going to get all the belts anyway. He's going to get all you know, the belts. We know, you know what we need to do, yeah? We just go on the rankings and see who's next for his belt. Well, Tr- Juno Johnson was supposed to, he got injured, right? Daniel Jacobs, well, that's the, that's the next best challenge we know. Eubanks, 
But we've got Triple G, we've got Triple G being a winning shoot. He should be able to win all these fights here. She was winning all these fights there, but boy, we don't know until they get in the ring. Daniel Jacobs has been looking good at us late, so we don't know, innit? Has he been fighting better? He's been fighting probably better caliber opponents than Trouble G at late, innit? Maybe Peter, Sergio Peter Martinez, Quinn maybe. And Sergio, Sergio Mora. Um, and Kid Chocolate. Yeah. He's so bright that like, he might cause the upset because just in, in fact, you know what I mean? He's probably fighting better opponents, but most people won't give him a chance. They wouldn't give him a chance. Well, he's got to give himself a chance first, you know? You know what I mean? Absolutely. Because he, yeah. he's the only challenge now. Now, Canelo nah, gave it all up. Yeah, look, look, I tell you what, yeah. This is the thing, like, middleweight, right? And some people don't know yet. There's guys out there, because boxers are a serious, hungry sport. And Triple G might be that dude. But, bro, there's some guys out there are hungry, bro. They're hungry dudes, in it. And the thing is, he's going to have to fight Manchester's now. You know? Manchester's guys who dare. Because you're the undisputed champion. All comers. Say how long Triple G can hold the belts for, like, thing, you know? Mm, we'll see, we'll see that'd be interesting. We'll see, we'll see. Yeah, I tell you what, if he does a couple of like if he does a couple of fences and this and that, people forget that the belts were given to him because how can they get the girls belts given to him? And that's that they wanted to compare it. How can he never got the belt? He went over there and beat beat bloody Alamina. Yeah. And Alamina went out there and beat Fidia and Fidia. Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? These that's the lineage, bro. Mm -hmm. You know, the lineage stopped, right? No, nah, actually the lineage stopped with Canelo. Right, but after Canelo leave vacating the belt, then, then Triple G is going to start his own lineage again. So what Triple G do is fight a big name, and that's how you get that respect. So what's Canelo going to do? Is he still going to fight at 155? Fight where he wants. It's Canelo weight beats. <laughs> that's why it's called Canelo weight. Fight wow. whatever weight he wants. He hasn't got a belt now. He ain't got a belt. Yeah, so I guess... Now you're thinking, people fighting for money. So yeah, he's got yeah. money, and he's got Oscar De La Hoya behind him. But listen, he'll come a cropper because the thing is, yeah, your, your lack of discipline of staying at, diff at, at a permanent weight well, yeah, the opponents will come and fight you and maybe they will lose because you're getting them at a disadvantage. But at the end of the day, will people respect you for it? Like, at the end of the day, will they respect you? You know, I, he's at a good 154. But look who's down at 154. You've got the Charlo brothers waiting for him. you got brothers. you got Andrade waiting for him. Nah, these are not easy opponents. No. Nope. So maybe maybe he gets them opponents. You know, why don't you try and unify the, the 154 pounder but then they say he can't make that way. You see? So at this point, you're, you're vacating the belt. Look, if you go up, you're gonna have to fight Triple G. If you stay in 154, you're gonna have to fight the Charlos and you're gonna fight Andrade. DJ Boxing Live here. DJ Boxing Live here. Must have done with Max and I'm. Must have done with the fat bump. Let's go, let's go. Yo, this is Chris Caban, chilling with my man DJ Boxing Live. One of the hottest, dopest boxing channels on YouTube. Check them out. Folks who some rounds on the EJ Live YouTube channel. And he was uh, the number 10 rating contender, and he had never been knocked down. And Sonny destroyed his mouth. But Thea lost most of his team, basically with one or two left hooks. Oh, shit, boy. What was look at kids sleeping like Manny Pacquiao? EJ Boxing Live here. EJ Boxing Live here.